How's it going guys? How are we doing? And welcome to a brand new video tutorial from IP. Anyways, so since we're all actually at home sitting down all day and we are actually pretty much in a quarantine, having nothing to do or pretty much most of us are just like laying down all day and watching Netflix or just like eating all day or stuff. So if you're bored and your boredom is just super high, I made this story actually specifically guys for all of us since we are actually in the quarantine. So for this video tutorial, we're gonna just jump into like a list of projects that you can create and side projects that you can make while you are actually in the quarantine. So I'm just gonna like give you some ideas that you can scaffold projects, ideas, and side projects, ideas, pretty much you can just take over and create while you are just like sitting home all day while just like you can go ahead and enjoy that and while watching some movies or stuff like that. So they're gonna be really good and I really advise you guys to go ahead and do like this kind of things uh, if you're just like in the quarantine and you're at home so you can you can pretty much get really beneficial side from that by creating side projects or just like a simple project that you can learn from you can enrich your skills and you can go further and further by you know making new like video like uh, side projects uh, you can follow up tutorials or you can even like look into the open source projects and try to make something out of it so I've created like an awesome list. So if you're familiar with the awesome list of like awesome React libraries or awesomeness or anything, so it just like it gives you a list of resources that you can you can pretty much benefit from specifically. So I'm gonna go to the repositories. If you would like to just go to my GitHub account, you're gonna find this in the like the repository and uh, the link down below in the description. So uh, you go just like to awesome quarantine. And I've created that like a couple of hours ago. It's clearly seen here three hours. And uh, basically for this, so it's still actually new. I don't have a lot of things in here. So please, uh, if you're like having like new ideas, uh, project ideas you did before, you wanna just like enrich that and make it like an awesome quarantine or something, you can go ahead and just submit a PR. Uh, just like do a new pull request and change that or add yours. I will be very happy to update this with the new project request. And let just all the developers pretty much during the quarantine enjoy that and have some like beneficials from sitting down uh, at home all day. So for the content here is pretty simple. I haven't like completed all of it because iOS, artificial intelligence, Android, and there are like a couple of other different categories I haven't added yet in here. I only have like web development for now. So uh, for web development, and what I mean by this category is actually both is gonna be coding backend and frontend. So not frontend separately or backend separately. No, they're gonna be both on this part. And pretty much this is gonna be the hardest uh, part in here. So for this, we got like a CMS or a contest management system. And if you click on this link, it's just gonna take you into uh, like an example I've provided with this. So there's actually a GraphQL, React, Node.js, AWS Lambda uh, serverless CMS. So it's called WebinJS, or I don't know how to spell that correctly, pretty much. So yeah, this is actually a GIF showing you how to how it works. Pretty, really nice. I've taken a look into this and it looks really good. Uh, they have a website, documentations, like an admin application, uh, and pretty much the licensing is MIT, so you can just go ahead and change it however you would look like to. And you can even copy some piece of code from here and put it into your site project. And pretty much for like working on a CMS or creating a content management system, isn't, it is not gonna be like that simple because uh, a content management system, it's quite huge. You have to create the back end, there's actually an admin side, uh, the front end, like a lot of database stuff and stuff. So pretty much for doing that kind of things is gonna need a lot of like knowledge and a lot of work. So it is actually a good point if you wanna like learn from yours and just by staying home. So CMS is actually a good way to start. You can also go to like an e-commerce website for like a simple e-commerce website where you can buy t-shirts, uh, buy and sell pretty much t-shirts for clients and uh, they, can, they can pretty much go to add to the cards and submit orders. I've also got an example, so if you can take a look, uh, you're gonna have like all of them in the examples in here, it's called Silius or something and they have a website too for doing that. So you can just take a look on this. I've taken a look into this and it looks really good. A lot of like companies use this and it is pretty robust with a couple of like uh, awesome theme builders and stuff, which I'm gonna help you a lot doing that. So if you wanna just learn, you can go in and do like an e-commerce website from scratch, just selling some like silly t-shirts or any other projects and it would be really great. 
uh, for also you can just go and do like an e-learning platform and this is actually a back-end and a front-end project so it's actually like a full application and for you know website platform you can have like instructors put courses different uh, different type of courses and assets like documents PDF files they can like write articles and save it to the database and of course the student can register and actually access a course so you got both back end and front end for this like uh, scaffold projects and you can learn a lot by just creating this from the ground up so this is actually a web development project you can get you in touch in your hands if you really want to learn like um, both back end and front end so for those of you who want just to learn like front end and for like side uh, front end projects there are actually a couple of them I've chosen here I, I mean like there isn't only those but this is what I f like I figured out like this is the best things that you can go for uh, in my opinion so if you have like new ideas about front end or back end or any other type of projects uh, you can pretty much as I've said before put them in a PR or you can just put them in the comments below be very happy to add them to the list um, there's actually a markdown editor so you can create a markdown editor in your framework for example let's say react or angular or view or you can go to like with a vanilla JavaScript um, like an editor in mark markdown editor pretty much and uh, like it helps you all to lay out the editor and understand better how the markdown and text manipulation works so this is actually really great and I provide an example here which is like stack edit I have like 16,000 K uh, of stargazers and pretty much I've like edited this or made this awesome list of like from markdown in stock edit.io so it's actually really great and you can take a look I don't know like um, I don't know about the license but I should pretty much take a look on that since it's open source and it can be really helpful there's like a UI components library you can create like components library for CSS like UI components library um, that allows you to abstract everything and put them in this library like a buttons uh, with different colors like models, pop-ups, navigation bars, footers, uh, different stuff like this and they can help you actually understand how to put the in an abstracted way and to learn more about CSS and components and UI in general so you can master this side as well by creating this kind of projects. There's a visual dashboard so if you're familiar with like uh, dashboards or admin dashboard where you can see all the data if you take a look on this visual dashboard projects you can see all of the data like uh, charts and different stuff so this is actually a dashboard from like react dashboard isomorphic and uh, it's actually an admin dashboard template where you know you can give like an administrator here an account you can have uh, different different styles of alerts and users so you can see the overview of how your system is actually working either it's actually a content management system um, I don't know a contest system or e-learning platform all of them needs a dashboard and many more so you can create for that like you can see um, recent e users or recent sales for an e-commerce website and different like budgets and, and you can create a different stuff for the da dashboard pretty much so it's actually a really great idea to go ahead and do a dashboard because it helps you understand uh, how things should be going how to like get only the necessary things and how to create dashboards necessarily because dashboards are really unique so if you know like how to create dashboards uh, they can help a lot of like admin people uh, to manage their stuff and get their things really quick done so yeah that could be really great to be honest for creating a dashboard right over there uh, the other thing we got is actually a weather application so most of the people are familiar with weather app and I've created one in here this is actually one of my weather applications you can find the tutorial right there so you can you can create like create react app uh, using that I pretty much have the story on my channel you can go ahead and take a look on it or just allows you to create uh, weather application it shows like from the beginning it has like two hours or something which is pretty helpful uh, there's like WYSIWY GUI or which is what you see is what you get text editor so this is actually a text editor that is gonna help you to pretty much edits and scaffold text and of course as I said before I've created like this butterfly editor like I don't know a couple of I haven't updated to be honest so I didn't have the time for that but this editor is actually made on top of JS and it has talons and have a couple of different features you can take a look in here and um, yeah so you can create something like this so for like 
rich text editor that can help you to understand how text goes, how you can put style into text, how you can export HTML, uh, different ways of exportation, how to include images and do all that DOM manipulation using either React or JavaScript or any other framework pretty much, but it's going to help you a lot understand how text manipulation happens under the hood. Um, yeah, there's actually also a task management system. For the backend side in here, we got like a CDN or asset management system. For a CDN, uh, pretty much you know, like it's a hosting, uh, like a CDN JS or something. You can create just a super, super simple and basic uh, version of a CDN where it just like uh, CDN hosting for pretty much your assets, like let's say images, PDF files, font files, video files, and you can just use it for your upcoming website or upcoming project. Just like for storing all of this like static assets and have them uh, delivered to your door which is really great to create something like this for a CDN uh, you also got like a job queue system and a job queuing system pretty much is where you can add jobs to the queue and they can be processed by the queue pretty much and you know how the queue works so they get wait their turn the first job process first then the other ones are uh, like in the waiting queue Till the first finishes, then if they are there's like get processed and so on and so forth. This is what happens. So if you have like a system for converting videos or doing anything like related to a queue and job queuing system, that could be really awesome and really nice to be creating actually. So you can create that in any language, Python or Node.js or anything you would like to. Uh, there's also a Chrome jobs management system for managing Chrome jobs in Linux. So you know how current jobs are actually are. It's actually a scheduling, um, you know, a system to schedule different tasks and how scripts can be scheduled to run exactly at the same time or repeated at the same time. So it could be a really awesome as well. I've got this jobby uh, application here from GitHub. And last but not least, there is actually a RESTful API server. And most of you have actually, actually created that, but for the people who did not create RESTful API server, you can go ahead and do that right now because this is one of the best or hopeful things you're ever going to be needing is actually creating a web server and most specifically a RESTful API server with a CRUD which means create, read, uh, update and delete API for managing a database or stuff like that. So that could be really awesome to go ahead and do. Uh, what is awesome is actually which makes it more awesome to be honest is adding a GraphQL support to this server so you have got like a RESTful API plus GraphQL API server so that's actually an added thing but yeah so that was actually guys the video tutorial I just wanted to show you what you can do in quarantine and just try to help you to just like get out of bed and try to do something while you're just like sitting home having nothing to do all day around so that should be really helpful for you guys if you like this video tutorial please put that push that like button why not and please just subscribe make sure to subscribe because a lot of people watching my videos are not subscribed and yeah I put a lot of time making these video tutorials so I will really appreciate you guys uh, pushing that red button pretty much uh, the subscribe button so thank you guys for watching the same before hope you guys have enjoyed the video tutorial as always and make sure to don't go ahead and like PR this and add more uh, items to this awesome currency and more ideas to that. So thank you guys for watching as I said before. See you guys hopefully in the next video tutorials. Adios.